Namaste. Our work situations and our world realities around us are changing very, very fast. And it's putting a huge pressure on mental health issues for most of our people in most of our institutions. So on this World Mental Health Day, I'm going to share a few pointers with you. I want you to contemplate on these pointers, think about them and see what all can you implement in your personal life, in your professional life and in your institutional setup to make sure that the resilience of our people, our own selves, our collective institutions is very, very high to deal with the changing scenarios. So first, we've confused these two words. One word is called Karma Kshetra. The other word is called Yuddha Kshetra. Karma Kshetra is the field of work and Yuddha Kshetra is the battlefield. We've confused these two words. We've started taking our field of action, which is our Karma Kshetra, as a Yuddha Kshetra, as a battlefield. Please understand this. Our offices, our institutions, our teams, our meetings are not battlegrounds. We are not at war. In business, we are here to create some products, some services which are going to benefit the humanity, which are going to uplift the experience of life for most of our people, our customers, our employees and everybody. We are not at war. So let's understand our business is not a Yuddha Kshetra, it's not a battlefield, it's a Karma Kshetra, field of work. So that's first point I want to share with you. Number two, most of the time we observe that our dealing with others, be it our customer, be it our employees, our investors, our partners, we become very transactional and that's where the problem is. Every transaction, somebody feels a loser, somebody feels at loss. Let's not have an attitude of being a being into a transaction let's change this attitude of transaction into transformation whatever we do every interaction that we have every act that we do in our organization with our people let that have a transformational impact on us as an individual on the person or the people with whom we are interacting on them on the larger system on the entire institution it must have a transformational effect then this stress or mental health issues will not come. So that's point number two. Number three, whatever we love deeply, we don't feel stressed about that. So let's make sure that we choose our career, our jobs, our professions, our institutions very carefully. Let our work be our love affair. And then the stress or pressure will not be there. If we are not able to choose that, let's convert our work into a love affair. Let's have that attitude of loving the action, loving the work, loving the profession that I am into. And this love will not allow any additional stress or pressure to come in. So mental wellness, uh, issues around men mental wellness is out of the door. So that's point number three. Point number four. Many times I've seen either we have an attitude of obsession I must win this project at any cost. Or we have an attitude of have to. Huh? That no matter what, I have to just do this in, at any cost. I'm pressurized to do this. So this attitude of bondage, so two attitude, either of obsession or of bondage towards your work is a problem. Let's live in the balance. Huh? So don't have the extreme of obsession or the other extreme of bondage. So that's Another point. And next is, we think mental wellness is all up here. It's about the brain. I'm sure it is not. Your body mind is one mechanism. There have been tons of research which have proved that if your digestion, if your gut is not working properly, you will have mental health issues. So which means what you eat, how do you keep yourself hydrated? Your connection with nature around us, your connection with sun, the source of all the energy, your connection with trees and, and earth is extremely important. I can go into deep details of that. But here, as a pointer, your physical well-being has a huge impact on your mental well-being. You can't ignore that. If you're not resting well or if you're not exercising well, 
if you're not working your body exercise much there's a problem the stress will start to accumulate and you will start to feel issues of mental well-being so that's another pointer next in yoga we use a term called pratyahara it's called self restraint what does it mean here in work because of the jobs that we are into technology is an integral part of our, us but it must not become a habit to de-stress yourself don't go to technology take a pause you need to practice self restraint which is pratyahara when it comes to excessive use of technology or social media or screen time because you don't realize it's causing deep stress on your neurons in your brain which then causes lot of stress and mental health issues let's be very aware of that let's not use the screen technology or social media as a de-stressor because they are not they are distractions they are not de-stressors please understand this contemplate on this next in this pointer would be we forgot to laugh life is not a serious business unless you make it so on its own life is not a serious business but our minds our attitudes are our dosh drishti which is not the right perception or the attitude makes us into a makes life into a very serious affair and we forget to laugh ask yourself how many times in a day do you laugh how many times in a day with your teams with your people with your colleagues do you laugh at home with your family with your friends how many times do you really laugh think about this the more you laugh even without a reason as a as a spirit of enjoying the life in the spirit of enjoying the life you are not leaving any place for any mental health issues to come in you block that you've just thrown that out so learn to laugh sometime without reasons yeah and last in this would be people who are the leaders who heads the institutions or the organization it's my humble request to all of you your teams your institutions create an ecosystem which is very healthy very nurturing i'm using two words here very healthy very nurturing which means even the food that you you serve to your people in your canteens in your cafeterias let that be healthy because as i said earlier your body mind are connected if you're not treating your body wisely in the most uh, joyful or energetic or healthy way it will have impact on your mental health issues so leaders please create the institutions culture systems and processes which are healthy and a culture which is very nurturing nurturing just not of the talent we do nurture the talent but nurturing and celebrating life itself please contemplate on some of these pointers i've shared with you because mental health issues are becoming the next big pandemic let's not allow this to enter into our institutions our homes our personal lives our body mind it's up to us let's work on this together and let's support each other in this with all my love and blessings to all of you thank you